Hey everybody, this is Mama Sue, and I have a cute, nice video for you today. This is with chain uh, earrings. Let me show you what I got here. It's a little variation of the other kinds of earrings I make. But here I've added a chain to the center, which gives them a little bit of a more elegant look. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Then I added a little crystal to the center as well. And that looks good. I've made uh, some different variations here. Now here it is in gold. Now all I have here is seed beads and little crystals and a little piece of chain. See there? And then here, I did it in black here. Let me show you the black ones. These are just all seed beads and the crystals. And then see, I've got black chain in these. Giving a little variation. But the one we're gonna make today is gonna be the green. Decided to try to make the green and see how that comes out. But I thought it came out pretty nice. But that's what we're gonna make today. So let me move these other ones out of the way and we'll get started here. I've got, uh, oh, where did it go? Okay, I've got, uh, here there, right in front of me. All you're gonna need, you're gonna need your crystals. Let me bring that up to you. You're gonna need uh, a few little crystals. You, in this one, you're gonna need four crystals for each earring. Then you're gonna need one wire for each earring, one round hoop, um, two cut pieces of chain, cut them the same length, like that. Now, if you decide to cut your, your own, and you want to know how to get them straight, what I do is I'll put my chain on a wire. Like I'll put uh, a chain on a wire like this and then I'll cut it. And then I'll see if it's straight and then I'll um, and I'll have them just perfect. When you have them on something like this, they come out just the perfect size. If you put them on something, when you when you have your two chains, not just the one, but the two chains. See, because I did one of the earrings already. So now, so what we're going to start with is oh, we need this little wire too, because this is going to be for this bead right here. For putting that little bead right there. So we're going to start with that little wire and get this bead made. So what you want to start with, now I cut my wire a little small and I don't have any more around me right now. So when you cut it, cut yours a little bigger. This one is, oh, let me see. This one is about almost two inches. I'd go two and a half inches if I was you, especially if you're a beginner. You could even go three inches and just use inexpensive wire to start with like like go to Ace Hardware or something like that hardware store and get some wire there. Just don't use it in your ear hoops. Your ear hoops you want to get something that won't hurt your ears. Um, but you can use any of this kind of wire for practice. Just feel it and see if it's get to know the feel of it. Now, now, what I did just now, I realize I'm doing it without showing you, is I, I take this and I twist. And when I get it up about to that angle, then I start wrapping it around and around. So I'm going to take a hold of that. And because this is a little bit of a hard wire, I'm going to grab a, another...
tire and just turn it around. Just go around and around. Oops. Boy, I picked a hard wire this time. going to squash it down this way. See what I'm doing? I'm just squashing it right down. Then I'm going to cut that little tip off. Make sure you don't let that fly around the house. Because it will end up in some feet. children in and out of here. I don't want their feet getting it. Now, I'm just squishing this down a little more. Just so it's nice and tight. Now, if you want to squash it up higher, just put your your, your uh, plier in that hole and push up against the wire. You go to the other side and do the same thing. That's how you get that wire up higher. You know, if you didn't get it up quite high enough. And then you take your bead and stick your bead on the end just like that. Now this one is very close. I did very close on that. Now because, because of how I'm putting this on here, I have one, the bottom part I have going around in a circle this way and the top part see right there and then at the top I have it going in the opposite direction I have it going around this way see right there so that's what I want to do with this one here so I want to make sure that this one's going this way, so I want the other one to, to go the other way. This one's going around this way, so I want this one to go around this way. So I'm going to turn it a little bit that way, and I'm going to grab a hold of it right here. I'm just going to push it forward toward you, like that. See? Then I want to move my plier up to the top. And bend it all the way back around toward me. Just like that. And because I can't go all the way, I want to move my pliers up a little bit. And then push it the rest of the way. Now don't make the mistake I made on this one. I picked a heavy wire on this one. And normally on, you don't need a heavy wire when you're doing this. Because these things, uh, you can use just about any wire doing this. You don't want to get too thin because it'll wear out too quickly. But you don't need to get it this this firm. I got this too firm. I'd rather go with a, a medium or a soft wire. Now all i got to do is twist this around like this. And like I said, I got the the hard wire here. Not on the other one. I made a boo boo. Now I'm just turning it with the with the pliers. Let me get a hold of that. I'll turn it again. If I can get a hold of it. I'm just going to squeeze it. Next time I'll pull out the right kind of wire for you. I 
This was totally an accident. Okay, now I've got one going this way, and then I've got the bottom one going that way, so I've got it going the right way. Then I want to put these up to each other and see if they're about the right size. Oh, they're almost perfect. Perfectly the same size. I came really close. A way that you can make sure that you get it the right size is, is like I had... I had this right about here on my pliers. If you take a pencil or something and mark your pliers, you can have both of them the identical size. Then you don't have to worry about whether it's going to be the uh, longer or shorter. It'll come out right every time. Now what we want to do is we want to start on these beads. I'm going to show you an easy way to bead these beads. I like to have them in a container like this. And then I hold on, well, let me, let me do that little circle on here first. Now on this one, if you see, I've got the, the wire is going this way. Because I have a hoop in here that catches it. You see? So it's going this way. So that's the way I want to turn this. So I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to start turning. See how I'm turning it? Now I'm going to stop there because it's touching. Then I'll bend it back the other way a little bit. Just to kind of center it. I want that to touch a little better than that. Turn that just a little bit more. Well, let's try that again. I got a little rough on it. I'm going to bend it this way a little bit, and then I'm just going to turn it. That will probably work a lot better for me this time. Yes, that worked very nice for me. Now see how that has a little round circle there. That round circle will keep your beads on there. And it's flat, so it'll it'll take hold of that, that ring when I go to put the ring on. Now, because I've got that in there, now I won't lose my beads as I'm putting them on. What I like to do is I like to put my bead, just go like this, and start catching beads on here. See how I'm just catching them? I want about nine or ten beads on there, I think. I'll have to count the other one and see where I am. See, now, i got quite a few on there already. Now, let me see if I'm pretty close. I take it up, and I want to measure it against this. Just to make sure we're getting, we're pretty close. Because this is what's going to make your earring the same size. And these little beads are, are different sizes, so you don't want to just go by count. Now this is just about right. Yeah, that looks perfect. So at that point, now we've got a crystal we want to put on. Let's go for one of those crystals. And if you notice, we only have like three on after that. This is one way you can take a piece of jewelry out of a thrift store or something and copy it. Now you want to go just three. Oops, I got too many. Okay, I took off two of them. And I'm going to put another crystal. Because as you can see, we have another crystal right here. There it is. Then right after that second crystal, I'm going to put my chain on. 
at least one side of my chain. Now I'm just feeding it right onto the wire, just like that. And I'm not going to worry about it for now, because now I've got to get this part on. I don't know how many beads is there. I just do it until it looks like it's getting close, and then I put it up to it to see if I've got the right size. See how, see how many I'm getting on there that quick? This is probably the easiest way you can get these on. Now, there are beading machines you can buy that do the same thing, but I figured this works. I'll just do it this way. Now, I'm going to measure that because I'm getting a lot on there really quick. So, I'm just going to take it up here and measure it against this one. I'm going to hold it right like this, put it up to the other crystal, and I've still got about three or four more to put on. Well, there's three more. Let's see how that see how that goes. Okay, I'm going to put this up to this and bring it around. I still I think I could use one more bead. That's all I need is one more. Let me just grab one. There we go. Now, now that I'm there, I have to attach my chain on the other side. See how the chain is attached underneath the crystal? Well, I'm going to put this on, and then I'm going to put the crystal over it. Oops. But you got to catch that chain. Now make sure you have these chains exactly the same size when you when you cut them. Make sure you cut them the same size. Um, well, let, me, let me measure this one and see about what size I cut this one. Just so that you have an idea. This one I cut at one and a half inch. About one and a half inch. Give or take, it'll it it'll still work. Now I just put that bead on, then I've got three that come after that. See how I got three in between the middle? Right there, there's three. And then another crystal. So I'm gonna stick it in here and get three more. There's my three, and I want to go with the next crystal. Now I'm done with the crystals. Now all I got to do is the other side. Just right here on the other side. Then I am done. See how I get those on there? side is just a little longer than the other. Let me check it out. I hope I didn't wreck my wire. No, no, that's just about right. Look at that. We done good. This side is right. This side is... Well, I could probably use one more. I'm going to put one more on there, and then I've still got a little... Now make sure you cut yours a little bit bigger. Because, uh, well, you can cut it any size you want, because you can make it whatever size you want, as long as you're measuring it to the other earring. Okay, I'm going to take one more of these. There we go. Now I'm going to twist this end to finish this off. First, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bend, bend it sideways. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my uh, round nose and I'm going to make that round loop. Let it 
goes around the other side. Now, if I break this, I'm going to have to start over. i got to try not to be so harsh on them. I can make that a little tighter. Absolutely need to make that a little. Now you need to. You're gonna want to. Oops. You're gonna make want to make that just a little bit. Uh, tighter when you do it. I mean, a little bit longer wire. If you're gonna make it as big as I did. Now I could have made it smaller, but I'd already made this one. And then I, you, you saw how I broke that, but it's a good thing I had it cut just a little bit long, or I wouldn't have been able to make finish this earring. Sometimes it's good that these things happen so that you can see, you know, what what you can do there. Now I'm going to put this up to this to make sure it's about the same size. Oh, look at that. It's a great size. Now all I gotta do is put the, this on, put put my little wire that I made right here on, and then put my little earring wire, and we will be done. I'm gonna show you how to open this thing up. Now this is like a little keychain, this kind. You can use the kind that you just open up stick your stuff on and close back up but I like these because you don't lose your pieces because it's like a keychain it's got the three pieces see see how it's like a keychain and you slide everything on it like a keychain but you got to get used to opening it up you pull straight out hold on to it tight pull straight out and then and then move your pliers down and then you've got an opening there they can go on your wire. So I'm going to hook right into one wire. See how I hooked onto that wire? Now all I got to do is hook it onto the other side. You can do each side at a, uh, at a time, but I like to hook them at the same time because I've gotten used to it. There it went, clicked once. Oh, it clicked twice. Okay, it's there. See there? Now, just shaping it a little bit. I'm moving my little circles up just a little bit. There we go, that's good. Oh, that's about right. Let's look see. Oh, it's just about right. Let me bring this up a little bit. See, you just kind of make your shape as you... See there? See there? It's pretty close. Almost perfect. Now, I just got to put this on. Let me open that up. Let me find the opening on it. And I'll show you how to do this again. There's the opening right there. So I'm going to pull straight out. See? And turn my plier. And I hang on real tight. Now I put a wire on there. Like that. And then I start turning it like the keychain. Like I'm turning a keychain, like I'm putting a keychain on. Now it's on. Now after you do that, all you got left is to put your little ring on. So to do that, all these ones that you buy in the store, on the inside right here, there's normally an opening right there. 
there's that opening and I just twist it up never pull it out only twist it up because these things are fragile you don't want it breaking on you Then you put it on there and then you grab a hold of it with your pliers again and you move it snuggy snug it right up to the metal and then I just kind of squash it there you go there's your earring and here's your set of earrings I always cut your wire just a little bit bigger so that, I mean, even when you get used to it, because look, look, you know, like I, I did the same thing. Now, isn't that cute? Let me show you what we got. Okay, we got this one. I like these, but I have some other ones that are my favorites. I got this one. I really like these black ones. These black ones came out really good. See how pretty that one is? Oh, let me bring it up where you can see it. Yeah, that's the black ones. The black ones look really pretty. And then I like the gold ones too. Look at these gold ones. Pretty. Another gold one. So you got the set there. And then the silvers. The silvers are really nice. They look like elegant, don't they? I think they're a real nice earring. Oh, and these make such nice gifts. Look at that. Pull them apart. There you go. Aren't those nice? Okay, well, that's what I got for you today, and um, everybody keep on crafting, enjoy, thanks for coming and visiting and seeing what I had for today, and uh, God bless, have a good day.